biscuits. It's your girl skitting back at it again. What are you? What is happening? What are you doing? I don't know. It's late. Oh, wait. Do it again. Whoa! Whoa! I like my bitches shaking, not stirred. <laughs> Stupid. <laughs> anyway, what up, Hope Biscuits? Uh, this is my husband. He's just tagging along for the ride. This is a terrifying photo of whatever. <laughs> I was is. waiting for you to see. Uh, it. We're here to watch SCP 2845. So, one of my comments requested that I watch a series of videos that are supposedly related. So, this is the second of those videos. The first one is SCP 001 The Gate Guardian. I will make sure to go ahead and post the link to that reaction in the description below. And we're on quarantine, so y'all know that I'm probably actually like 85% sure to do it. So, so 001 was a really fun one. Yeah, there's um, lots of explosions and obliterations. obliterations. But I, what I really liked about it is that they're not, they didn't shy away from the very clear, you know, Christian. Right, biblical. Yeah, just obliteration from a very holy being. But this seems more occult in nature, given the human faced deer. Human faced deer. So, yeah. It's kind of terrifying, like like vaguely that's kind of cool looking like this that. does not this is not as terrifying not at all i would i would talk to that nigga but this right here i would make you take the creepy one uh so yeah we're gonna split them up a little bit there is one for the explorer series that i'm gonna do later skin's gonna do the one from the vulgan right now so uh yeah, let's get into it man it's really we don't know how they're related so uh it's, it is quite a bit to get through though so we'll stop it later on and like talk about it yes i'm definitely ready i'm just gonna have some banana yeah the banana phone has been deboned I was going to eat some banana because my husband left the banana on the desk like this. <laughs> like closed, yeah. Like it, what like you, it still has banana meat you in like it. Flip it inside out. Who does that? Who makes it look like there's banana meat in the banana? It's a first off. It's a banana bone. I deboned the banana. No. A banana the bone. Meat. Ding dong, ding dong, ding. I'm just gonna start this. Gonna I just would like to say I was, I am disappointed. You could have at least left it like. It, see that? You see that? Now I got banana slime all over it, all over the place. It could have at least left it like that. <laughs> all right, let's get started. Three, two, one. It's fucking Doctor Fucking Miller. I need you to say play when you play. Going three, I, two, one. And I've then, been saying play, sorry, I just forgot today. Okay. Like, just now. Go for it. It's broken. You have to say it. Three, two, one, play. Good afternoon, everyone. What's up? My name is Dr. Miller. Dr. Miller. I know. And the SCP we're going to be looking at today is SCP-2845. Dear, <laughs> Dear face, man. Threat level, black. What does that mean? Object class, Kevin. Oh. Okay. Special containment deer. procedures. Yeah. Use of outsourced containment resources and consultants has been authorized for the containment of SCP-2845. Yeah. Consultants are to be considered level 2 personnel and are at no time permitted to leave Site oh. 100. If at any time an outside consultant must be removed from containment of SCP-2845, Class A amnestics are to be applied Wait, before release. Wait, okay, that sounds awful. Class A amnestics are probably just bullets. <laughs> no, they're the mind wipe. It's probably it's probably the thing from Men in Black. Bullets. What are they called? Oh, I don't remember what they're called, but I know what you're talking about. Yeah. Bullets. A minimum of 30 trained individuals and an unhindered supply of untrained subjects is required for proper untrained. containment okay. of SCP-2845. 48 trained personnel are currently assigned to active containment of SCP-2845, split into 8 teams of 6, with a further 24 individuals available as replacements. Jesus. An allowance of 5 D-Class per week has been authorized for the containment of SCP-2845. Oh my god. Site 100 has been happening? constructed to the following specifications. Site 100 consists of nine concentric circular bands, okay. designated ring A through ring I, with a gap located between ring C and ring D, 
designated as Gap 1. Six circular chambers are located at 0, 60, 120, 180, 240, and 300 degrees that. within each ring and gap. The chambers located at 0 degrees are aligned with geographic north. Two additional circular chambers are located outside of ring I, located at 120 mm -hmm. and 240 degrees. The floor of each circular chamber contains an unobstructed lead hexagram. The central chamber containing SCP-2845 and 216 instances of SCP-2845-1 is to contain an atmosphere of 96.3% hydrogen, 3.25% helium, and 0.45% ammonia maintained at minus 110 degrees Celsius and a pressure of 2.3 bar. impressive. The following procedures are all to be carried out in a repeating cycle of 63 hours, 54 minutes. Each procedure is to last 39 minutes, with 10 hours between each procedure. Each procedure must be carried out by six individuals. Oh no. The location of each procedure is denoted in parentheses. At the beginning of each new cycle, containment procedures will be carried out in the next ring closest to the containment chamber. Ceremonial recitations for all procedures and descriptions of all variant costumes may be found in document 2845-C-EXP. All right, there was a lot going on there. Yes. But we got a circle, jail. And each thing's got a cell in it, in each ring. And each ring, they're doing a little song and dance. Yep. This is making sense. Really ties into before how you're like, it looks very occulty, And I was like, yes. Yep. Uh, Summer's Eve? Midsummer. Ah, Summer's Eve Mid is Midsummer. Yeah. Got it. <laughs> <laughs> that was good. Come on. Dude, come on. Like, every once in a while, I fucking knock it out of the park. Oh and I got God. two today. What was your other one? The one with the banana phone, I'm gonna say. Oh that was my God. That was really good. Yeah, I fucking nailed it, dude. But yes, right. Very culty. We're here. Play. 10. Constantin. 60 degrees. Containment specialists are presented with masks. Joy, sadness, anger, apathy, fear, and foolishness. Okay. And act out Ceremony Constantin A. Ceremony Constantin A is a farcical comedy of errors and exchange of insults between the six hmm. individuals, culminating in foolishness outwitting the group in a game of riddles and declaring himself king. The conclusion of Ceremony Constantin A is followed by a game of dice. The winner of the game is irrelevant to the procedure. Okay. Procedure 420, Paranaldo. Paranaldo. 120 That's a good degrees. name, yeah. Performance of a musical piece for flute, oboe, clarinet, French horn, timpani, and bass drum. The piece is accompanied by specific somatic and vocal components carried out by the players throughout the performance, designated Ceremony Pirinaldo A. The performance must be live. Recordings of the piece have no How effect. do y'all figure this shit out? Yeah, that's a, I yeah, know. Is it, this is, clearly cannot be the result of trial and error. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Y'all found this shit written down somewhere. Hopefully they give us a lot more, you know, that we're still in the, there's a lot of procedures to go through for this one. Mm -hmm. So hopefully at the end when they give us the backstory, when they find out like what it's all about, you know. Right. Procedure 430, Epimetheus, 180 degrees. Gifts are exchanged among containment specialists. Content of gifts is irrelevant to the procedure, but each gift must not exceed $4.28 hmm. in worth. Each gift is accompanied by recitation of ceremony Epimetheus A in its entirety and the scattering of grain around the That's containment That's super tool. occulty. Okay. Procedure 440, Cassiel. 240 right. degrees. Ceremony Cassiel A is recited as containment specialists bind their feet with wool and consume 0.5 liters that, of okay. olive oil. Well, then they will lie. break apart a rock weighing at least 200 How? kilograms with hammers. What? Ceremony Cassiel B is recited That throughout. sounds awful. Procedure 450, Cairo, 300 degrees. Here we are. A D-class subject is prepared by painting a symbol Ring surrounding a dot with an arrow pointing upwards at the 90 degree yep. point on the stomach with a platinum-based solution. 
and presented with this a blue cloak, bad. crown, and scepter. D-class subject is then restrained yep. in a chair, and ceremony oh, Cairo yeah. A is recited. After recitation of the ceremony Cairo A, the D-class subject is to be castrated oh! by use of a hand sickle by a containment a specialist. Hand -sickle? The testes are then to be disposed of in a bowl of salt water as ceremony Cairo B is you recited. You know, I thought the one before with just, you know, being bound and drinking some olive oil was bad. This is really bad. A and, hand sickle. Yes. And then you have to watch your balls get put in salt water. Procedure 460, Omphalus, 0 degrees. Ceremony Omphalus A is to be recited before roasting of a child no more than three months of what? age. What? Excuse me? What do y'all have me watching? I didn't see that coming at all. We punt babies here. We do not roast them. Yo, he used the word roasting. All right, I'm I'm interested now though. Baby's roasting. On All right, yeah, okay, okay, okay. Was that really necessary? God damn it! Play the goddamn video. Play it. Play. Ceremony Omphalus B is to be recited before consumption. They have After to consum eat it. Worse. We're not even through the circle yet, man. I'm upset. I... <sighs> of the child, ceremony Omphalus C is to be recited over the gastrolites, which are then oh, swallowed. Vomiting is then induced, and ceremony Omphalus D is recited, signaling the beginning of a new cycle. In the case of a containment breach, Site-100's nuclear device is to be detonated, followed by lockdown of all Foundation facilities and activation of Protocol 2845 XK-1. So y'all could do all this, eat a baby and all this shit, and still have to detonate a up. nuclear device? Yeah. Yeah. Still have to blow it up afterwards. Who agrees to work at this facility? I don't know if anybody's agreeing. It's not all D-class personnel, though. Right. So there's, like, people. There are people. Who are doing this at their job. Eating babies. And drinking olive oil. And cutting off penises. Well, testes. That's what castration is. Not penises. You get to keep your penis. You just don't get to keep your testes. Right? Move. And this is a message from containment consultant to site director Dell on January 31st, 2012. Towering Kadath, my home. I have been approached several times already in regards to the containment procedures and their complexity. Really now? <laughs> I have been asked if all of the containment procedures are truly necessary, if they could not be cut down or edited, edited for, simplicity. for simplicity, and at least one claim that they were patently ridiculous. This is my response, and I expect that it will be seen by all of the Foundation staff working on this project. I will not repeat okay. myself, and I find it sickening that after all the struggle to contain this creature, pencil-pushing bureaucrats are still seeking to cut corners where they cannot afford to okay. be cut. The answer is no. The ritual will remain as it is, and will not be changed in any way. It cannot be cut down further, nor can it be added to. It has been set in place, and now that it has begun, any deviation at all could very easily be catastrophic. Why? Rituals do not work because of some underlying laws, such as those that science operates on. Rituals work because they are right. rituals. Right, right. They work because an arbitrary set of criteria has been met with exacting care. Belief that meeting these arbitrary criteria achieves a certain end assigns power mm. to the ritual. The actions that were once meaningless now have been assigned meaning through their repetition and right. application. This is how one seals away oh, a god. Okay. And this is a god. 
I know that the Foundation does not approve of using this term, but it is still the case. The stag is a god, and it is not a petty local mm. god. It is not one of the mild gods of Earth, or some weaker spirit that is bound by the strength of man's belief. We have, for the time being, fooled it into thinking that we have overpowered right. it. It does not understand that we do so okay. falsely. It is a god. For gods, words have power. Ritual and belief hold greater power over a god than all the okay. laws of science. That makes sense. However, it must be okay. kept in mind that the stag could escape That's what I was waiting for. right now. I mean, literally so just jokes. said it. With a thought, this entire facility could turn into a puff of hydrogen. If at any point the stag thought to escape, it would, and we would be powerless to stop it. However, it will not think to escape, nor even to change its strategy. The idea will not even pass through its mind. It cannot comprehend the concept. It does not think in the way we think. Truth be told, I would not say it thinks at all. This is an old god. It does not dabble in decisions. Decisions are for creatures who may act erratically, variably, or out mm. of line. A god of this strength simply is. It is an absolute. It acts as a force. In building this ritual, we have shifted its being the slightest bit, and now it is locked into a pattern of behavior. It struggles against us, we struggle against it, and we are locked together in an eternal dance so long as the ritual that makes sense. remains yeah. intact. Okay. If one thing goes awry, the entirety is lost, and the deadlock is broken. Unstoppable force without an right. invisible object. The rituals might seem to be nonsense, but they are what I divined to be the best course of action. There are powerful symbols there, and whether or not you think they are appropriate to the situation mm. is irrelevant. I have listened to the converted, and I have listened to the echoes of the stag in their songs. They are not suffering, but they are no longer human. They are changed. Utterly. The ritual remains as it is. Okay. Take a little break from that. It's a little deep right now. Mm -hmm. But for me, the first part was really hard to get to. And after this story started, I definitely got sucked in to the meaning of all the stuff that I heard before. Even though it's horrifying. Right, yeah. And I really like that he's basically just saying like, it just thinks that these rituals are doing it and that's what helps us. So if at any point in time it thinks that you're cutting corners or that you're not doing the ritual correctly, it's like, bam, that's my way out. Yeah, yeah I like that. All right, cool, let's continue. Mm -hmm. Description, SCP-2845 is a quadruped entity measuring 2.9 meters in height at the shoulder and weighing 815 kilograms. A sinuous neck, generally held in an upright position, extends a further 0.5 meters, terminating in a head with humanoid Ugh. facial features. SCP-2845 possesses antlers, measuring 4.8 meters across. Antlers are white, with black marbling and coloration, and have not been observed okay. to shed. SCP-2845 is covered in hair with an average length of 10 That's centimeters, with the exception of the face, which is hairless. SCP-2845's coloration is primarily a pastel green, with a stripe of cream on the underside of the neck and belly. A ring of ice particles is suspended 15 centimeters oh. behind SCP-2845's skull, okay. measuring 1.7 meters in diameter, with a ring thickness of 35 centimeters. This ring is interrupted at regular intervals by seven spheres consisting of metallic hydrogen and metallic helium, each measuring 15 centimeters in diameter. Fuck is the ring and spheres rotate mm -hmm. clockwise at a speed of 1.6 RPM. The force maintaining the movement of the ring, the physical state of the spheres, and the means by which SCP-2845 is capable of supporting its head under the weight of its antlers okay. are unknown. SCP-2845 is capable of instantaneous transmutation and reconstruction of matter. No matter is created or destroyed during this process. This property is manifested Jesus. at will with an observed range extending to targets within eyesight. Maximum range of this ability is unknown. Transmuted matter will remain stable despite the lack of other factors. For example, 
metallic hydrogen and helium are common results, which will remain in either solid or liquid form despite the surrounding okay. temperature. That's kind of cool. Altered atmosphere will not mix with unaltered regions, maintaining chemical consistency. The most common transmutation results are the solid or liquid forms of hydrogen and helium, the conversion of atmosphere into a hydrogen-helium-ammonium mix, and the transmutation of plant life into metalloid-based organisms. Yep. <laughs> SCP-2845 will typically surround itself with a transmuted area with a radius of approximately 5 meters at all times. SCP-2845 has proven itself completely resistant to physical to damage. Really? Anyway? The most common forms of offensive transmutation used by SCP-2845 are a column measuring 5 to 7 meters in diameter and 60 to 80 meters in Jesus. height, or a horizontal cone measuring between 100 and 150 meters in Simple. length and 10 to 30 yep. meters in width at the furthest end. However, SCP-2845 has been observed to attack single targets at distances God of up to damn. 10 kilometers. Early observation of SCP-2845 during recovery indicated that it will generally ignore non-combatants, right. focusing on retaliation against attackers. However, SCP-2845 was not seen to make any attempts to spare non-combatants <laughs> within the area of effect of its transmutation. <laughs> and later recovery <laughs> accounts indicate preemptive attacks against both military Collateral and civilian damage, targets. SCP-2845-1 designates human beings that have been modified by SCP-2845. Mm. Instances of SCP-2845-1 are hexagonal columns measuring 2.4 meters in height with a rubbery yellow-green uh. skin. SCP-2845-1 instances do not have any outward sense organs, and autopsy has shown that internal organs are likewise Jesus. absent, save the brain which now takes up the entirety what? of the column and contains the reconstituted mass of the other organs wow. and some additional outside oh materials. It is unknown how SCP-2845-1 instances derive nutrients or if any nutrition is required. Neuroimaging of SCP-2845-1 specimens has revealed that the brain is in a constant state of high wow. activity. Analysis of multiple specimens indicates patterns of call and response so some form of remote communication between SCP-2845-1 specimens is so presumed. So it's transforming people into giant brains. He said hexagonal? Is that what he said? Yes. So they're geometric, fleshy brain yes. things? Yes. That's kind of cool. This is weird. But this whole really thing is weird. very weird. Yeah, this is on the like... What, deep what kind in, of I deer think. art is this? What kind of deer god is this? Yeah, that, like this is like not the kind of a cult that we are familiar with. No, I think. right. So, well, I mean the eating babies. Yeah, I've seen that around a little bit. Human sacrifice, castration. That's about as deep as it goes. But then the whole changing people into these kind of weird things. That's hard for me to imagine this even is very happening. Very strange. But you know, we're almost done, so. Modal variants of SCP-2845-1 have been reported, but have evaded capture oh? and study. Addendum 1. An abridged timeline of SCP-2845 from initial discovery to containment is as follows. November 27th, 2011. Initial sighting of Comet C, 2011-W3. Oh, oh, it's an alien! December 1st, yeah. 2011. Comet C 2011-W3 confirmed by Mount John University Observatory. December 2nd, 2011. Comet C 2011-W3 confirmed and named by the Minor Planet Center. December 16th, 2011. Comet C 2011-W3 reaches perihelion. Solar Dynamics Observatory records images of a fragment breaking off from the main body of the comet, maintaining a speed of 0.0018 C. What does that mean? December 17th, 2011. Fragment really trajectory confirmed to end in a collision with Earth, with estimated impact of December 21st. Thoth Station deterrence procedure fails at changing fragment's course. Public announcement made by the United Nations. Evacuations well, begin. Yeah. December 21st, 2011. Fragment impacts in the Pacific Ocean. 124 kilometers off the western American coast. December 24th, 2011. 
SCP-2845 believed to reach shore on this day. December 25th, 2011. First observation of SCP-2845 <laughs> through civilian video footage. Drone contact made. SCP-2845 confirmed as hostile. Foundation assets within United States military begin direction of recovery and containment procedures with assistance of Global Occult Coalition Ooh, representatives. That, yeah, I like that. Foundation containment sites in the region enter lockdown. December 26th to December 29th, 2011. Artillery bombardment of SCP-2845 yeah. commences, along with initial battery of tests. Contact with outside containment consultants made at this time upon observation of SCP-2845's properties. December 30th, 2011. SCP-2845 is unimpeded for 16 hours. December 31st, 2011. Bombardment commences. <laughs> January 1st to January 14th, 2012. SCP-2845 is led across the Sierra Nevada mountains while remaining under heavy bombardment. Develops initial containment oh. procedures. January 15th, 2012. SCP-2845 reaches predetermined containment area. Initial containment procedures enacted. January 18th, 2012. Initial containment uh, so procedures end in success. January 20th, 2012. Construction of Site 100 begins. February 3rd, 2012. Refinements of containment procedures implemented. February 19th, 2012. SCP-2845 declared So it took them over a month to do this. Yeah. That's... Yeah. Jesus. Right. I thought it was from January to January from start to finish, though. Mm -mm. December to January. Oh, December to January. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Dude, like, so the first guy was saying, like, in his speech mm -hmm. that he was, like, talking to the people that they had converted yeah. to come up with some of the ideas for the containment procedure right. and stuff, which is, like, really genius in a way. But like really creepy that a dude is out there studying the occult so much that he's like talking to people and then within like a couple of months is like I figured it out. Yeah. Yeah. That's crazy. It's so interesting to me too that like we get a description of the containment procedures and a like we get a timeline, but we still like they have no idea how to describe to us what this thing is. Yeah, like what you it know? really is. Yeah, yeah, they give us a good physical description of it. Yeah, tell us where it came from. This is so detailed. This is the stuff that he likes. This is the stuff that yeah, he can yeah. kind of do. But like, and we're still just like, and there's been no declaration of intent from the thing itself. Right. It's just like living its life, being creepy. And it's, it's also the same thing that like I keep talking about this fear, you know, about the unknown and stuff. You know that people have like though there's a bunch of stuff bigger than you out there and all that kind of thing yeah that's why and i don't this, like thinking about space right and it's like it feeds into that really primal human inadequacy where science just cannot do it for you right you know and like and i that's what is really i like about SCPs. because i don't really have that fear at all you know I, I like knowing that knowing this information doesn't really change anything about your reality right you know i like that i'm very comfortable with that but i think a lot of people are really emotionally it's, it's skeevy yeah it's very it's like it's just it's very stressful to think about enormity right and eternity and mm -hmm. the fact that space literally goes on forever like infinite and stuff. loops like and yeah uncontainable giants and stuff yeah so cool but uh yeah i don't know where this leads we'll get back another day to see the end of uh this. yeah i'm very confused about i'm trying to see is there anything no here? no this video is over um, all right. You will probably learn about its connection in the last video. Okay. Or they tricked you into watching all or these videos. Or you guys lied to me, in which, which is... case I'm going to fight oh, you. Oh, we gotta go. Outro. Peace out, ho biscuits. It's getting lit. <laughs>